so hey hello sub guys today i'm going to remake this classic chrome dinosaur game with some extra feature in this and yeah i'm playing this game just to recall some of its extra feature and guys i really want to uh, change the graphic for this game because um uh, this white and black color really sucks i think so i want to change the graphic color uh, i mean graphic for uh, uh the dinosaur animations and obstacles uh stuff like that and uh, i love the thing that the um the way it uh, plays the sound when you jump and 100 score is triggered i like the uh, that way and i wanna add that in my game as well and i like the varieties of obstacles in this game so i will also uh, try to add that in my game as well and which are uh, spawned randomly so i like that point as well in this game and i will that's the main mechanism of the game and so i will also add that in my game so i want also add coin mechanism and some other interesting things in my game as well which l i think uh, this chrome nine Instagram game lacks uh, and yeah I want, uh, I want also um, uh, include the day and night mechanism for um, the Chrome Dinosaur game so I'm playing this game just to recall some of its feature and uh, I wanna know how this all works in this game so I'm playing this game and I think everyone has played this game once if they have ever used Chrome um, browser so do I and so now I wanna play some time this game and then I will um uh, I, w I will uh, go to unity and create uh, a new project for this game So finally guys after playing some time I knew how this all day and night mechanism works and I think I know uh, whatever I should have to know so now I am ready to make this chrome dinosaur game and uh, I think that every time when you reach 700 points then uh, and the night is occurred and after a more 200 then day occurs and same thing goes on and on so I will uh, make the same thing in my game as well. So yeah guys this is my very first prototype game for a chrome dinosaur game and yeah it's not quite similar with chrome dinosaur game because it's not the final project I have to make some changes it's just to visualize how this all game mechanism works and to <coughs> make me confident that I can recreate this game so I have to show you something uh, in this game that uh, how this game mechanism works so as you can see that uh, when I pass uh, this enemy after some time they deleted uh, so how this all works and every time new enemies uh, spawn uh, from this game, uh, list of uh, enemies and that random uh, uh, enemies uh, spawn uh, and let me show you how this all works for that uh, let me open this one and let us assume that this is our enemy this blue one is enemy then uh, it has its own box collider uh, let us assume that it is a red one and Whenever our player collided with this um, red box uh, or a red collider or enemy collider, then our player died. Uh, so that's a simple. But I have to make that uh, if a player have uh, safely um, passed this one. So I just recreated a, a empty game object with um, just just box collider, and it has its own own tag. And yeah, enemies had is also uh, own tag that enemy tag uh, just to help me easily that uh, which uh, player has collided with which game object or which box collider uh, that's for just my easy and here it has um, just a box collider and uh, uh, the box collider of empty game object is uh, on trigger so that it will not uh, just uh, affect the rigid body of player but it will just trigger uh, some script if a player has uh, just passed through it it's just to know that player has safely passed our enemy and so that's all after that uh, when our enemy is uh, successfully passed without a uh, um, player tossing it and then it's saved on a empty game object uh, in a script and new one is created uh, at the same time uh, after uh, uh, doing this for uh, another enemy then the previous one which one is saved on empty game object it's deleted and the newly uh, passed game object is uh, placed on that one and so that's the script how it all works so you guys here is my very final game and yeah uh, i have nearly about eight types of enemies and they are spawned randomly uh, so let's wait 
so yeah here we go and here our game goes and yeah first uh and yeah there's a flying but i just forgot to um make animation on that one but yeah there's the another type of enemy and yeah as i had told you that i will also uh, add the queen system and that there, there it goes and here's the another type of enemy and yeah there it comes they all our enemies are spawned randomly as i have uh, explained this mechanism earlier so the same mechanism is also here which was on my prototype here yeah, um, and yeah the game is just like this one let's play it oh wait uh, i just forget to uh, just uh, enable the canvas so let us just uh, enable this and yeah there's uh, now everything is fine now just let's play it and let's know so you guys here is final project and yeah there's there are many types of obstacles and if you want to play this game uh i think i will post this on my uh, uh is dot io link and the link will be in the description here here's the uh died and the restart menu which is sort simple just high score and your score then press any key to restart and just and now let's play this game and here yeah, it also have coin system and their night system uh so now play this game so guys here is my final game in full screen It's a quite difficult, but yeah, here's my final game. So guys, I have almost eight enemies here uh, for this game, and if I want to add more enemies, I have to just go here, uh, game manager, and then here's the enemy generator script, and I have to just add more enemies, and it will spawn just like that one. Uh, so here's a day night script and everything. So let's. Uh, I just want to tell you that if you want me to uh, remake of any other game, then let me know in the comment box below and. For your kind information, I will also publish my very first game within a month on Play Store. So just uh, do check the link in the description. If I have published the game, then link will be in the description. So I'm Kals and see you soon in next one.